Girl, put your pizza on, then play your favorite song. We don't You're gonna right. set off the fire alarm. It's a serving suggestion. <laughs> it's, it's burning. Welcome to the Kitchen and Jorn Show. I'm Jorn. That, uh, yep. And I, I am a PA. <laughs> Today we are going to be trying every Trader Joe's frozen pizza, of which there are 20. I think there are 20. This many? Sorry, Kelly. Sorry, Kelly. I love frozen pizza. Homest Among Us has not been hung over on the floor of a college shower, wondering when will I be freed from this prison of pain? And lo, from on high, a frozen pizza was delivered. You like frozen pizza? I love frozen pizza. I eat a lot of Trader Joe's frozen pizza. A lot of frozen pizzas from any brand. We will not be trying their cauliflower crust pizzas or their gluten-free pizzas because we've tried them in previous videos. We have, yes. This was obviously every pizza available at our local Trader Joe's. Your Trader Joe's might be different, uh, as is the case. <laughs> Anyway, like every Trader Joe's video, we categorize everything by just okay, pretty good, really great, and, and if you absolutely suck, penalty, penalty box, box bad. bad. Let's eat. Let's eat. We're not scheduled today because we, we are have to on time this because the pizzas they keep coming out of the oven whether we're done riffing or not. Got the scissors. So the first pizza we'll be trying is the Trader Joe's burrata, prosciutto, and arugula flatbread pizza. I've actually had this before. Oh, okay. Brag much? <laughs> we can't all go to Emerson College. Not true. This is this isn't a pursuit for you. I'm sorry. I kind of no, I, I, did like a, I did a boner jam. What? That's what I call when I make a mistake. So like I jammed your boner in a door. <laughs> Oops. Ow. <laughs> Let's try this. Okay. Oh. Cool segue. It's delicious. It is quite good. Honestly, what I love about it is that the crust is actually a different texture mm -hmm. than like the softer middle part of the pizza. Like the crust actually does have like a little bit of crunch to it, which is rare, I feel like, in a frozen pizza. Sorry, my food was escaping from my mouth. If I was assembling a team, and for whatever reason the team could only be comprised of food items, burrata and prosciutto are on that team. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Arugula, I feel like, you know, in the third act we'll find out that he has some sort of superpower too. And the Snyder cut. <laughs> The burrata, prosciutto, and arugula flatbread. Really great. All right, next. This is Trader Joe's organic cheese and tomato pizza. Family, family size. size. I mean, technically, I guess you could say I'm a family size human. You're the size of my family. Oh! All right, let's eat it. This tastes like school cafeteria pizza. Also, they show it with little basils. It says serving suggestion. Ah! It's, it's burning. Kitchen and Giorgio is a brand that's all about living moss. <laughs> We didn't burn the pizza. I think the smoke detector's being a little dramatic. Yeah, we didn't cut. So this was just a <laughs> <laughs> It's like school pizza. I don't know, it's fine. This is Trader Joe's barbecue chicken pizza. It smells like chicken, there's a hair on it. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> I don't know whose hair that would be. <laughs> Sometimes I shed, okay? We both have had haircuts in this apartment, so I'm not judging. I guess I judged a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I kind of felt like that's what just happened. <laughs> but I'm not gonna call you out on it. I realize we're still fragile from the smoke alarm. I have thoughts on this. I think the barbecue sauce is way too sweet. Oh, so hot. I like it, but I, I understand what you're saying. I understand that barbecue generally is sweeter, Sweet. which I'm fine with, but I've had barbecue chicken pizza where the barbecue sauce was a lot tangier and had a little bit more of a kick to it and it felt a lot more balanced with the sweetness. It's more like pizza candy. If you were looking for like a little bit more of a complex taste profile, you're not getting it here. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I think we can feel so oh! Nothing's even burning. Oh, I see that. Okay, so the fire alarm went off for a second time, <laughs> but that was because there was a little sausage at the bottom of the oven burning. How many times will we set off the smoke detector in this video? Put your guesses below. The next pizza we're trying is the Trader Giotto's Pizza Parlano. You know, I feel like they play kind of fast and loose of the Trader Joe's pizzas versus the Trader, Trader Giotto's. Giotto's pizza. What is a Trader Giotto's product? Some of them are a little bit Italian, and some of those are just like, yeah, this is pizza you find in America. I don't know what you want from me. Oh, can you see this is so where? That's it, where it set off the fire alarm. That's where. It dripped and burnt his teeth. Pizza yeah. Parlano? <laughs> it's like school cafeteria pizza plus more vegetables. And the crust and the dough, nothing really special. But this is basically DiGiorno, but no rising crust. Okay. <laughs> the fire truck's coming. We heard you burned a pizza. That's false. We, I burned. Think we burned two. Okay, so the Pizza Parlano, just okay. The tart au champignons. It's like a pancake with attitude. Don't punch it. It's still kind of soggy bottom. I don't know if that means it's like just soggy or if it wasn't fully cooked. You want to be ready when I finish the video? <laughs> Certainly a pizza. I'm eating it like a taco. 
I do not like that. I love it. What? Tastes both like too rich and then also flavorless. What do you like about it? I also think it is undercooked. But also we've set off the fire alarm so many so times. I know. We're not putting this back in the oven. The Sorry, Brie. It's savory, it's cheesy, I like the mushroom taste. It's creamy. For me, this is just okay, but you love it. I think it's pretty good. Ready? No, what are you doing it? Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. It's really great. <laughs> I want more of it. I don't want to waste it for a bit. Well, you did just fold it in half. Sorry. <laughs> this is the Trader Joe's Tarte au Brie et au Tomate, which is a very French thin crust with brie cheese and tomatoes. Jeez, You're pretty. eating my wife! Don't eat my wife. Don't eat my wife. I have good boundaries. <laughs> I mean, I see the tomatoes, okay? They were not mine. They said tomatoes, and I said, no, those are tomatoes. This is this also a tart. Uh, I like this one a lot better than the other one. I think the tomatoes are doing a lot. Tomatoes are actually like very like fragrant for frozen tomatoes that were reheated. The balance is what I, I think you thought was the richness of the last tart. Yeah, the tart au brie de tomates. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's a different day, by the way. It's why we have different clothes. We have different clothes, and we also have uh, mustaches to show that time has passed. We're Italian. This is the organic roasted vegetable pizza. I just don't trust this. It's like, mm, don't lie to me, onion. You're water. You too, zucchini. You too, red pepper. It's really hot. Mm hmm. Okay, honestly, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It doesn't taste bad. Mm -mm. It's not like, ooh, that's a good vegetables. Because again, vegetables are like little water hotels. <laughs> the oven roasted vegetable pizza is just okay. Not so far. Ooh, Kristen, enlighten me. What is this very hard disc? It's apparently a pizza. Roasted garlic and pesto pizza with deep fried crust. <laughs> mm. You know what this tastes like? What? It tastes like those little, like, hors d'oeuvre like garlic bread that you can dip in like your pasta sauce. Okay. I think if you think of this as like a pizza, I don't think you're gonna be happy. But if you think of this as a flatbread you get to eat before the pizza, I think you'll be exceptionally happy. This is a pizza that should be rebranded as an appetizer. Weird disc with little dots on it, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Who would have thought? I mean, I don't know, we didn't think. <laughs> <laughs> you know what would happen is that that would, that would go boo into the air and then like, then the video's over. Nope. Why did you I'll do that? It. I'll I'll now we it. can't eat it later, because now it's all wet. No. Oh. My favorite. Ah! Please stop touching it with your bare hands. I didn't. This time it was my bare wrist. <laughs> okay, so think before you speak. <laughs> You're right. This is a pizza margarita, which I guess traditionally is like, supposed to be like basil and mozzarella and like tomato. And I feel like the mozzarella has like a starring role here. And the tomato is like best supporting actress and the basil is like the cameo from like the very famous <laughs> actor who isn't in the movie for very much. But, but is, so, on the poster. is on the poster. Yeah, which I know is a joke I've made before, but it's still funny. It's still funny, so. Eat our shorts. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I don't know what it is. And if I'm told what it is, I will scream. A Just... pizza cutter. <laughs> All right, so, uh, you could make your own, it would be better. That was disappointing. Oof. That's weirdly really like sour. Also the cheese is like got a really weird like thick texture that just feels kind of You could make off. your own at home. The cheese also has a kind of a filmy nature to it. It just kind of implies that like there is an ingredient that is separating itself from the cheese and we don't know what it is. What is that stomping upstairs? Are Stop. They it's Monday. <laughs> this is just okay. This is just okay. Trader Joto's organic three cheese pizza. This has the same film problem, but instead it's spreading over the entire pizza and not isolated quadrants. You know, like if it's a frozen pizza, I'm just like, why does it have to be made in Italy? Maybe they should make it closer to home. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, that doesn't seem very efficient. Let's try the pizza. This one's better. Yeah, much better. Whoa. This one's better. I don't know why. Maybe it's the combination of cheeses, but it's just got an actual flavor to it. Looks like there's a film, but you actually can't taste no, it. No, it's good. This one's better. We're not gonna f this pizza. It's but we'll tell good. people that it was chill. It's pretty good. It's Trader Joe's wood-fired, Naples-style, uncured pepperoni pizza, which is a lot of words for, it's a pepperoni pizza. Dink, dink. This is like a pretty good frozen pizza. There's nothing really special about it, but it's also not trying to be like, you know, anything but a pepperoni pizza. You know what frozen pizza I do like? What? Newman's Own. Well. <laughs> He's not sponsoring this video. He's not sponsoring. You all know what? Trader Joe's doesn't sponsor these videos. Yes. People think that they do, and it's like, why would Trader Joe's sponsor a video where like we- We don't like a lot of the food. We, we spit out a lot of the food. <laughs> what fired pepperoni and apple? Okay. This is the Trader Joe's organic pesto pizza with tomatoes and broccoli. I actually have had this one before. Is it Trader Joe's because it was made in Italy? Yeah. That's what we've learned something today. Cause I was just like, why do some pizzas get the glory of Trader Joe's and some are just like, yeah, Trader Joe's. Broccoli pizza. Broccoli in my pizza. 
pizza. It's like, just have broccoli. Broccoli is good on its own. It doesn't need to be on pizza. It's like, why make pizza and broccoli worse? You don't need to be married. It's like, we get it, you know, they were young, it was college. The world just seemed unfurled beyond them with infinite opportunities. She got pregnant. But she got pregnant, you know, but they got a little older. He got a little bit more interested in traveling. She kind of wanted to go back to college. And it's just- really, There's a couple that's just like really, they're poly now and they tell everybody about it. Yeah. It's and it's like a front for their own happiness, maybe, mm -hmm, you know? But and it, he, like, he, yeah, and he's always trying to just like, uh, he's make little, connections. You know, but it's like most people just want to have sex with her. Anyway, let's see if this pizza's yeah, good. Yeah, let's see if it's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was a mouthful of broccoli. This is bad. The cooked broccoli, I think, is just a little too soggy. Better. First of all, why would you advertise your pizza as organic pesto when, like, literally the star of this pizza is very clearly broccoli? broccoli. And you can't really taste the pesto. Like, I know there's pesto in there somewhere. You know, it's a special guest star. It's not a headliner. It's a special guest star. <laughs> I would say penalty box bad. I think bad. it's penalty box bad. This is a, a four cheese pizza. A four cheese pizza by Trader Jota. Four peas pizza. No. Too hot? Penalty box bad. This is penalty box bad? I don't like it, but I, I want to know what you think. I think it's perfectly good. You love her? If this is how you feel, then why don't you make it the kitchen and formaggio show? <laughs> I tried. She's too expensive. <laughs> I don't know if that additional cheese really like makes it thin. Mm. The four cheese pizza and the three cheese pizza taste identical. It just tastes like the other one, except like now I'm sadder. These are just okay. They're just okay. Look at me. You need a little break? <laughs> I think we need to take a little break. It's the pickle, mm. it's the little pizza. I love pickle that. pizza. My diet is actually mostly rectangles, so like this is really important for me. What? <laughs> I'm so sick of pizza. I oh, know. It's fine. Tomatoes are like, okay. It's like the play no exit, but it's no exit from pizza. <laughs> it's us and pizza, and we're like stuck in this room forever. It's not like anything special. It's just the same thing. So this was just, just okay. This, was, this is just okay. These are Trader Joto's Bambino pizzas. That means they're small. Yeah, they're pears, they're peas in a pod, so we're trying them both at the same time. We that have the their just plain cheese. And their pepperoni. Their pepperoni. That same great flavor you love, yeah. now in boob shape. All right, let's eat the same thing that's been remixed slightly differently. <laughs> I think it's better than like your average frozen pizza, but like this is, we're eating the same pizza over and over again. They're the same. Mm -hmm. Just one has meat on it. I mean the Trader Joto's Bambino pizza. Just okay. It's okay. <laughs> Whoo, another Trader Joto claster piece. <laughs> Arugula pizza. Arugula pizza. It's a, it's, listen, it's the same thing, but this time there's lettuce on it. We okay. should probably go easy on the dairy for a few videos. <laughs> you always say that whenever it's my idea. Let's eat it. Let's eat it. Okay. It's a good shine. The arugula is really pointless. <laughs> I think it is good. I think that you just are sick of eating the pizzas. I don't know. I don't like it, but I will say that I am sick of eating pizzas. Whereas I'm also sick of eating pizzas and I acknowledge this has been the same pizza five times in a row. That said, it's fine. The arugula does nothing. It probably just gets stuck in your teeth. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. <laughs> I think it's, yeah, it's just okay. Yeah. Next. <laughs> it's our last pizza. Whoa. Whoa. I'm sick of eating pizza. Whoa. Whoa. I'm gonna build my chunks. Whoa. Oh, please throw that at your house. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, it's the same pizza. So this is Trader Giotto's as well. So it's this imported is, from Italy. So These are Spizico di Pizza. Hey, do you want bagel bites with no bagels? I feel like I've been looking at this pizza box in Trader Joe's for years and I was just like, what is the Spizico di Pizza? They're 12 appetite sized cheese pizzas. They're appetite size? I should chisel the box. I think it says appetizer size. Yeah, it says appetizer, it's not appetite what? sized. <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> That's so weird. Can I just be like, I'm not allowed, I ate it. <laughs> oh, I got it. Mm, 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 mm. <clears throat> it's like, you know when you date the same person three times in a row and it's just like, here we go again, the same person. It's like this, but the pizza I keep eating. Eat a pizza of our dolls. Why doesn't Trader Joe's have a deep dish pizza they do? I don't know if we want them to do that because then we'd have to eat it. You I know? never want frozen pizza again. I, I don't either. either this is just okay. A lot of these pizzas were just okay. I think the overwhelming rating was just okay, but you know who's not just okay? Us. We're, we're, we're great. great. And you know we're who else pretty is, great. is great? You. That said, my favorite pizza was the burrata prosciutto and arugula. <laughs> Mine is is the pizza that I'll eat in like eight weeks when I'm finally over this. The two little tartlets were good. The rest of it, it was fine. Wow, that was that exciting. Was, that was fun. What do you want to see us eat next? next? We love you. We love you. <laughs> and we hate ourselves only yeah. a little bit right this now. This kitchen just reeks of pizza. Oh God. All right, this video's over. Yeah, I video's love over. you. Bye. Sorry, Kelly. <laughs> this video is over. Bye. Bye.
Bear of all things. Scenic pizza. Barbecue. Okay. Barbecue. <laughs> okay.